What up crew? Today we're going to make a guillotine out of an old bed. Let's check it out. So in this project, I'm completely green and upcycling by using an old bed frame the Skip Bandit found. Anyway, other than the bed part, I used the door that I made from another project called the Jack Nicholson door. Don't worry, that's another video coming out really soon. First, I want to make the blade since everything will be built around that piece. I'm exaggerating the angle so it will look like a French 1800s old-fashioned authentic guillotine. Oh, there's going to be a lot of sawing, so I hope your DIY ASMR ears are cool with that. Then the doors are going to act as the base of the structure. Okay, so we have our blade. Now, I'm going to use these old bed frames to hold the guillotine up. I don't want to do any more work than I have to. And because these have a board already inside of it, it works perfect if I keep one wide and one short. That way, this is completely flush. Yes! To get the perfect angle line drawn, I'm using a this old house trick of simply laying my pencil on the surface to transfer the exact measurement without having to bring out other tools like protractors or compasses. Then lots of sawing and drilling. To make the sides secure, I'm putting these rectangles on the base and the side to tighten everything up. I did the same thing to make the other side. Yes. Now when I say I'm using everything, I mean everything and good screws are not going to be wasted. Plus I need these boards for the back side of the blade to slide into. Hand saws are also allowed in my world, and I don't want the edges of the guillotine blade to catch on anything while it's on its slicing path. So I'm rounding out the corners to let it fall freely. Plus it's going to be covered up, so it's not a big deal if this little detail doesn't look perfect. The neighbors are really loving me at this point. Now for the aesthetic of the whole piece, I want that angled look, so I'm going to chop off the corners of the support rectangles. Nothing like a good arm workout to get the blood flowing. Now, Duresta style. I didn't think the long plank look was necessary, so I'm going to trim off the excess. 
After placing it this awkward way, I realized I could just clamp it to the bench and that made it a lot easier. The saw didn't go all the way and I wanted to see if my left arm sawing skills were as good as my right. Neither are perfect. Now to sturdy up that base with those old screws we were saving from the beginning. I started out by covering the blade in tin foil, but realized that would get ripped up and didn't sound good when moving fast. And then I found some silver spray paint, which gives it a really cool texture. Au revoir, Marie Antoinette. It's so much fun to use this, and I'll show in the next video how well it chops. Yeah!